Hello and welcome everyone to DAX Electronic Repair. Today we're going to be doing a GeForce RTX 3080 Ti. It is an Asus card. ROG Republic of Gamers. This is a big boy card. Um, this one is the 12 gig GDDR6X RAM on it. So what's going on with this one is uh, the bearings in one of the fans was going out. So we're going to go ahead and take it apart, clean it out, and get it all ready to go and replace the fans and also the thermal paste. All right, so first thing you do, as you can see, I'm going around the outside there. Um, there are a bunch of um, T Torx head screws um, and then we'll go ahead and take that back bracket plate off once we get them all out of there I think those are actually hex I'm sorry got yeah, one more to go <clears throat> All right, so we've got them all off of there. Now it may seem like there's more screws in there. There are not. Um, what's holding it on is a bunch of thermal pads and it kind of sticks it to there. So kind of get a metal, not a metal, a plastic um, prior and put it in there and you can pry it off just be careful how deep you go you don't want to mess with any of those resistors or transmitters or whatever all them RAM chips and such all them deliciousnesses alright then you got four screws right there that are holding the processor well basically the yeah the processor to the cooling block on the other side <clears throat> take them out they've got uh, little springs on them so just be careful with those little springs don't lose them I believe they're on they're pretty good but um, just be careful with them uh, I can't really this card is so tall it didn't actually fit under my camera to show you what I'm doing but I'm taking all the Phillips out of the um, the mounting bracket where your ports are, your display ports and HDMI's, there's a bunch of them. You gotta take that bracket off. You just take all the screws out. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then once you do that, you should be able to split the motherboard off of the heatsink. Again, this is going to feel a little bit stuck. There are a bunch of thermal pads and your thermal paste on the other side, gluing it, temporarily gluing it on there. So that's normal. Um, you go ahead and get a. I'm kind of doing it off screen, but it's not a very good shot. Um, you just kind of want to put your, your pry bar in there, plastic, and lift up. Now there are there is a connector. There are two connectors, one for the LEDs. Well, yeah. The first connector is right underneath the top there. As you can see, I'm going to pick it up. And it's right off. Nope. Okay, perfect. Um, you got to press in on that. It's got a clip retainer. Squeeze it together, and the latch will come off a little bit awkward with it because there's two there you go um, <clears throat> there's that one and then there's the one over by my fingers right there and that one also has the exact same type of clip clip connector so that's how you get those off of there um, don't just yank that board you will break it there's a little spacer right there as well don't forget that so now that we're down to just the heat sinks <clears throat> and the fans there are four screws holding the fan assembly 
well actually not the fan assembly um, holding the the front cover basically fan cover to the heat sink bracket yep and that's where the LEDs are it's, that's in inside of that so we're now we're just down to the heat sink itself watch out for those thermal pads you can flip it over and set it on its uh, set it down like that it's not going to mess with the thermal pads because there's standoffs that raise those pads above it sitting on the on your table so now we've got our three fans <clears throat> I'm just getting the screws that didn't pop out kind of pushing them out so I don't lose them so each fan is held in with four screws Phillips and I went ahead and just got only one of the fans was bad but the kit I got came with all three so for the customer I just put all brand new three of them in no reason not to do that uh, you can see how dusty they are uh, this is a oh, about a four-year-old card it's when it came out in 2021 three or four years old so you take all those off all those screws and the fans pop out I went ahead and used my vacuum you can see all the dirt and grime these things really accumulate now you want to do this you want to blow your graphics card out even if you're not replacing the fans do this every once in a while you don't have to take it all the way apart but just blow air through it and that's what I've got right here is a little air gun just to get all that dirt out of there because that is what kills these fans and these these are this is a big card it's got three big fans it's gonna it sucks a lot of air and, it'll, and as such um, sucks a lot of dirt especially if you got animals and things like that anyway got all three new fans <clears throat> it's just the reverse of what you just did just line them up and start screwing them in again there's four or per fan <clears throat> routing's a little weird on these it doesn't exactly route the same way as it did uh, they had some kind of felt tape I guess you could use that if you wanted to to put the uh, connectors back in their little brackets but it doesn't really matter as long as they're not anywhere near the fans rotation the, uh, the, t the top housing will keep them away. Well, it was nice. The uh, kit I got was not supposed to. It was supposed to be brandless and just have the fans, but it actually came with the uh, factory stickers on there. So that was a nice surprise. Definitely a much cleaner cleaner build with the official ROG logos as you can see they spin real nice and you kind of just want to route it like that <clears throat> again it doesn't have to be perfect and the outer casing will kind of put it where it needs to go but you can see those little clips in there they're not really clips they're just kind of places where the connectors sit so now that you got that we're gonna go ahead and start to reassemble everything going to use some electrical tape but that gets kind of gummy and gross so I decided not to do that all right put your faceplate bracket back on there 
this keeps the fans where they're supposed to be. It also it's got ducts in it that directs it, the airflow where it needs to go. Um, and you just make sure your cables are routing properly underneath. And as you can see right there, it just comes up from the, the back of the card and we'll make the connection with the motherboard once we get it back in place. Next thing we're going to do, put our screws back in <clears throat> that hold it, uh, that front ducting and cover back in place. Got four of those. I did put four in, you can't actually see, I think I skipped, but yeah, as you can see the fans spin just fine, so now we can actually go ahead and start, we're going to clean off this old thermal paste, we're going to apply some new, you can see it's still, it's still good, but anytime you do this you might as well just throw some new stuff in there. I just take a paper towel to get most of it off and then some alcohol. You don't have to be perfect on this either, but the best job you can do, um, do it. The, the other precaution here is this thermal paste will get on your clothes and not come out, so be careful with that. Um, Make sure your thermal pads are all in place. Make sure they haven't come loose. Now you've got some there, but you've also got some on the top there. So the, if they're hanging down or they're not in the place they're supposed to be, go ahead and readjust them. Um, if they're ripped or torn or damaged or anything like that, you can get replacements. These all look pretty good. Um, they've also got upgrades if you're, if you're overheating. Um, they've got more uh, heat dissipation thermal pads that you can get if that is something that you actually are going to need. And I'm just kind of being picky there, getting most of the thermal paste off of there. Again, you don't have to be perfect and you also want to make sure you don't get that thermal paste or the remnants of the old stuff anywhere on the card uh, in any of that electronics in those electronics there it is very conductive so if it's it can short things out real quick so the best way to do this is actually to plug in the LEDs down there first and then you can Go ahead and sandwich it back in there because what you have is you've got those off the standoffs that you have to put you have to line the card up because we've got that X bracket we still have to install to hold it in place but you also have to make sure that it's put that thermal paste down in the wrong place otherwise you're like I said you're gonna just short stuff out all right here's the X bracket we're gonna go ahead and put our screws back in there was the one that has the void on it this is uh, anytime you do this you will void your warranty of course this one does not have one so it does not apply all right so now the final step is to put our backing plate on there again. It's got some more sandwiched thermal pads. Make sure they're in good shape. Line up all the holes. And you can see there I've got some thermal paste on my knuckles. And like I said, this stuff stains like crazy, so be careful. Right, and now it's just a matter of keeping everything organized, which you should have been doing the whole time. Putting the screws back where they came out of. These are all 
Hex, I believe. Yes, Hex. Got a couple black ones with uh, the sand, the standoff springs. <clears throat> Go right there. These are all important because they are keeping everything tight uh, to those thermal pads on the various layers so everything is dissipating the heat properly. And these things get real hot, especially when you're running the 12 gigs of RAM. It heats up real nice. And then finally, put your bracket plate back on like I showed you. And the little last cover. cover left over. We have to do it in the order. And then you take a look at your glorious work, spin the fans up, and you did it. Good job. Thank you so much for checking out my video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And again, thank you for watching. I love you all.